The hydrolysis of sucrose into glucose and fructose in acidic water has a rate constant of 1.8 times 10 to the negative 4 second raised to negative 1 at 25 degrees Celsius. Assuming the reaction is first order in sucrose, determine the mass of sucrose hydrolyzed when 2.40 liters of a 0.190 molar sucrose solution is allowed to react for 180 minutes. So in the problem, we are given... 2.40 liters of a 0.190 molar sucrose solution. So what we can solve here is the initial initial mass of sucrose. So you have 2.40 liters. So first you convert liters into moles using the molarity. So the molarity is 0 0.190 moles per liter. So the liter cancels out and you have moles. Next is you convert moles of sucrose into grams of sucrose using the molar mass of sucrose. So if you solve that using your periodic table of elements, you know that the molar mass of sucrose is 342.0. 296 grams per 1 mole. So the moles will cancel out. So if you solve this in your calculator, the initial mass of sucrose is equal to 156.09 grams. Okay, so let's set this let, let's set that aside first and let's go to the main equation to solve this problem. So this is an integrated rate law problem. And according to the question, the reaction is first order. So for a first order reaction, we know that the integrated rate law is ln of the final amount equal to ln of the initial amount minus the rate constant times time. So we don't know the final amount yet, so just put ln of A equal to ln of the initial amount, which we already solved. It's 156.09 minus the rate constant given in the problem is 1.8 times 10 to the negative 4. And the time given in the problem is 180 minutes. Now be careful. If you look at your rate constant, it's in second raised to negative 1. So we need the units to be consistent. So in order to do that, you need to convert 180 minutes into seconds. So 180 minutes, we know that 1 minute consists of 60 seconds. So 180 times 60, that's equal to... 10,800 seconds. So that will be the time that you will plug into the equation, 10,800. So if you solve the right side of the equation, that's ln of 156.09 minus 1.8 times 10 to the negative 4 times 10,800, that's approximately 3.8. 1064. So if you want to solve for the final amount, to remove the ln, you do E raised to 3.1064. So E raised to 3.1064, that's equal to 22.34. And since we're talking about the final amount, and since we're working with grams, the unit is grams. So, we already know the initial amount, which is 156.09, and we know the final amount, which is 22.34 grams. Now, we can solve for the mass of sucrose hydrolyzed which is just your initial amount 
minus the final amount. And if you solve that, 156.09 minus 22.34, the amount of sucrose hydrolyzed was 133.75 grams. And that is the answer to the question.